Yo, so what's up guys? So yeah, welcome back. So this week we have a Nissan Sentra with a VVL swap. VVL swaps are quite common in Cape Town um, and it's one of those cars that a lot of people love. Especially for that sound it makes for the stack. So yeah, I'm sure you guys are quite excited. I'm excited too. So yeah, before we go on with this video, please do remember to like, comment and subscribe if you haven't. It really helps me a lot um, because I'm really aiming for that 10,000 subscribers and more. So we have Nolan here. He's the owner of this Nissan Sentra VVL. So welcome to the channel. Oh, welcome. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. Yes, I appreciate you um, bringing your VVL. Um, I was quite excited when you messaged me and stuff. Like, yeah, no You can see the score. Feels nice. Like I saw on your channel. So he has a channel in him. Garage, Garage Bolts. Bolts. That's correct, yeah. So you guys can check him out as well. So I'll leave his link in the description. So please do subscribe to his channel. It's about the car. And a few other things, eh? Yeah, a few other builds as well, yeah. Tell us a bit about the car. Give us a story behind it. Yeah, so basically this car, we, uh, I've owned a car for about, I think it's about maybe five, six years now, already. if not on to seven, not we're going to seven years most probably. I bought the car, the car was a 160, the motor was broken. Um, I built the motor and then I wanted the car to be fuel injection. So I bought the fuel injection setup, 160 still, fitted that. Um, that's when I put this Petronics management, um, drove the car but not didn't tune the car as yet and then I obviously because I'm into speed so I thought nope yeah. let's go to <laughs> SR20 then I put the SR20 DE setup because we actually had the motor in the yard so I put the SR20 DE um, got the car tuned on that the, we drove the car I think the best on Kilani was 15-0 oh, um, yeah 15-0 and then um, I fitted some gas to the car, it drove Saldana, so the best on Saldana was 195 kilometers with, sure. with a 30 shot of gas. And this then... Was the, this, this, this was the SR20 DE. That was the DE, sure. yes, SR20 DE. And then from there we changed the car over to VVL. Then I I had the VVL motor as well because I bought that motor for my Escort and Busy Bowling. So I had that motor. I fitted the motor into here and then tuned, got the car tuned at Dynatec at the time. And yeah, I did the best time on Kilani with that setup was 13.7 sure. And then my best at Saldana was a 196, 196 km So that's your yeah. current setup that you have in now? No, 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 no. this is a new a ball, new this setup. is a new yeah. fresh, this is actually a fresh ball This car was just tuned, like, this car was tuned on, just tuned on, on Friday, on Friday Serious? The car was tuned on Friday, yeah yeah, so that's why we're not going to go but too yeah. rough, we're going to be a bit <laughs> easy because we're trying to save the motor for the 27th Kilani. This car has been through a history of motors from carb to fuel injected to yeah. shot of nitros. Yeah. Um, and a VVL. Yeah, it was eventually. Now, obviously, VVL. this is also the VVL. This is VVL as well, yeah. But yeah, just take us through the motor, what you've done in the motor, and so yeah. on. Basically, the current setup in here is, as the guys say, Cape Town stock. <laughs> Cape Town stock setup. Yeah, so we do have the N1 cams, the 70 mm throttle, um, the normal things that most of the guys, most of the setups the guys are running in Cape Town at the moment and around Cape Town. That's basically the similar setup. It is a bit of a higher compression motor as well. Um, the car is tuned on the 50-50 mix, so it's 50 sure. ethanol, 50 petrol at the moment. Yeah, so, so that's, yeah, that's basically it. There's nothing fancy to the setup. It's nothing different or something that the guys don't know around here in Cape Town. Yeah. Everyone, I'm sure almost every VVL is running the same setup. They are running a similar or similar setup, similar running setup. a similar setup, yeah. Yeah, basically that that is the motor. There's nothing else I can tell you of the setup or the motor. And uh, management wise? Or management is still Spetronics, so Spetronics. I kept the car Spetronics here since the, since the beginning when I actually changed it over to Spetronics. Yeah, so, and Spetronics has been fine, it's been treating us well till now, so I don't have any issues with it. Like I know most guys are against Spetronics, the, the, some of them are dictator or obviously yeah. the bigger 
more expensive management, but that is for one day. We're not planning to spend so much money on the management yet. So yeah. basically what you've done here is like a budget build. It's, it. it's, yeah, it's more of a budget, like a type of a budget build. We don't want to go too out of hand. Obviously yeah. we, we have families and things and things that we need to also take care of. So we can't just go and spend all the money and cost. Yeah. yeah. Um, and what? What power is the car making? You see that you tune the car on yeah. Friday. Yeah, at the moment the car is okay. Let's just put the car is making about one seventy kilowatts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not giving too much away. Yeah, it's giving about one 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 seventy, <laughs> about one seventy kilowatts. Yeah, let's keep it there. Yeah. And there's still a bit of stuff you need to do, fine tuning and so on. Yes, there's a lot of things we still need to do on the car. We can actually still tune the car on full if. To, to actually get the kilowatts up some more but we're not going to do that we're yeah. going to keep it on 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 50 50 for now just to see what times we get another car goes suspension wise the car is the suspension is not the greatest anymore like it was um, we need to do a lot of changing um and a lot of things that we are picking yeah. up now while driving the car because the car we left the car standing for a while but that's why you can see the car's bodywork damaged a bit and and stuff yeah went a bit backwards but yeah we're trying to get the car back up and running now again <laughs> yeah. So in terms of the gearbox, um, so obviously, like you said, 170 kilowatts. It's very important to put that power down, else you're gonna go nowhere, and you're not gonna get the times that you want. So. Um, yeah, what gearbox setup are you running and like LSD wise are you running LSD and stuff? Yeah, at the moment we're running a LSD gearbox. Previously it was a normal open box, now it's LSD gearbox, but it's nothing fancy straight from Mike's place. Yeah, we bought the box at Mike's place. Yeah. And that's it. That's it. Nothing yeah. else. No, no nothing. Gearbox no, no, changed. nothing changed. Nothing changed. Maybe in future, but not now, nothing. Yeah. It's I okay. know the the Nissan's the um the SR20 is the gearbox races is long no? Yeah, there's there's apparently there's a, there's a long box and it's a short ish box, oh. yeah. So um this one seems like the short one. We're not hundred percent sure. I think it is yeah. probably the short one. Yeah. Once you start scratching again then you'll find out. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, once we really drive the car then we cannot see what's what's happening, yeah. Because obviously we didn't drive the car I didn't drive the car yet. Yeah. And it was raining when, when they actually tuned the car. I think on Friday it was raining. So there was no real driving the car. Oh, um, just by looking at the exterior, you can see this car is a heavy sleeper. Like you said, it was a 160 car, no? Yeah, it was a 160 car, um, yes. But, but if I just look at this car, you will think like it's a, just a normal SR20 conversion, maybe. Yeah, with the 14s on and so on. But like, yeah, just take us through what you've done in the exterior, basically. Yeah, that's basically where the car got the name as well. No. That, that, that's a sleeper. Yeah, the guys they call it the sleeper <laughs> VE. So that's where the car is the sleeper VE is called the sleeper VE. So yeah, basically interior, exterior, interior is is still stock. It's fairly stock as you, as you can see. Yeah. Stock seats. Um, rear seats and the rear seats has been removed. Obviously because the car is kind of daily and a kind of a bit a racist car. So yeah, if we have the seats at home, so if we want to put it in we put can it just in, put yeah. it back yeah so <laughs> it's just that's it that's that's out there yeah. so the seats um spare wheel everything is still in the car we're running normal 14s outside nothing fancy nothing changed yeah <laughs> you, you can basically just see on the on the on the tailpiece yeah the exhaust the exhaust, piece, yeah. if you if you really now wanna wanna see what's happening but for the net this looks yeah like a nothing daily that, car. Yeah, there's nothing that, that points it out and you do can. you do daily this thing no it's called yeah we daily the work car, and back. daily the car if you feel like daily in the car, we daily the car. It's, it's not a full on race car, it's a daily driver. If we feel like racing it, we race it. Back then, I used to race this car, I used to daily this car every day to work. I used to go race the car, Kilani, race the car, Saldana. I drove it to Saldana, race it there, drove it back home again, yep. and then just daily the next week again to work. There's nothing No happened. problems. No problems. Um, yeah, so you said this car was never on the track before with this setup. With this setup, no, huh? no, no. Previously, no, no. we ran with uh, 13, 13, 13, 7 was best with the previous VVR yeah. setup in here, yeah. This one, because of lockdown, we never ever got the chance. So that's yeah. why we never even rushed to get the car done. Like, we were just trying out to get the car done, seeing that things are calming a bit down, hopefully. So, yeah. So, what, what do you plan on running with this thing, with this setup that you're having, if the track opens now? 
I don't know, like like I said, like I even said in my own intro, I'm yeah. I'm I'm a strong believer on 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 rather driving the times instead of talking the yeah. times. Like I can I can now say on camera that we're gonna we wanna run a a, a mid thirteen or a low thirteen, and then the yeah. car stuck at a high thirteen <coughs> or a low fourteen. So yeah, so rather let's rather drive times and and then see what happens. Yeah. Uh, see what happens. But obviously we would we would obviously want to beat the first the cars best time. So best time on this car is now thirteen seven. So that's the time to beat. Was that with, with full slicks? No, no, it's for semis. semis. For semis and an open door. Yeah. yeah, the normal open gearbox. And, and obviously with this forward things, you can't go and kill You're probably going to run the full slick, no? We we, the we're going to do semis, semis first, first, yeah. And then, because we're trying to, apparently they, they, they say that with it, you have to qualify the 27th or something like yeah. that. You have to run the 27th to actually run the end of the year. Oh, okay. So some something like that was said. I'm not sure how to the story is. So, so we would like to run the 27th and get into running the, the, the end of the year, December event. So obviously December event will prep the car, probably full sleeks. wondering why I haven't been doing some draggy pulls for the past few weeks I think now it's been three episodes so like um, it's a bit of a safety risk sometimes the, like the roads can get like a bit busy and stuff and we don't want to take the chance obviously we have to like take um, consideration of other road users and stuff um, it is an industrial area however so it is quite quiet but there's times when it gets like busy so that's the reason why so yeah I do apologize if you guys are looking forward to draggy pools so yeah what we'll be doing in future like um follow-ups on the cars that i haven't been doing some draggy pools on so yeah uh, but before we go um i just want to say a special thanks to draggy cpt for sponsoring me um yeah so if you guys are interested in a drag you can contact them on instagram so it's at draggy cpt um the draggy is quite a nice device um especially like in the times we're living now, we can't go to the track. You can still get the times and like check the times that you're making. Um, it is quite accurate and it sets up a database as soon as you like um, do your times and so on. So it gives zero to hundred, um, eight mile, quarter mile, eight hundred meters, and there's so much other calculations that it calculates on the device itself. So yeah, if you guys are interested, please do contact so them. Just take us through your channel. So um. I did go through your channel, like you do a lot of work on your car and like yeah, and there are the builds, so yeah, take us through NM Garage Builds. Yeah, basically NM Garage Builds, it's, 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 my son's name is Micah, so I'm Nolan, mm. so it's Nolan Micah Garage Builds. Um, what I basically do is, is just normal my car builds, like I, I'm not really into, I want a workshop, a lot of guys would message me or inbox me and ask me if I'm a workshop, <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not a workshop. Um, I do help out with friends cars, I help friends with their cars and stuff like that, so we are going to actually build a K-series now soon. Serious? Yeah, we're busy building, uh, we, we are just waiting on the last parts to actually come in, and then we're going to do a K-series build on the channel. Um, and then I'm basically busy with my Escort, VVL Escort as well, it's turbocharged. And then it's this car that I normally build, and there's another build that I have stored away until I'm actually done with. That's with, a secret. With, yeah. <laughs> the guys, I, there, is a, there is a few videos of it. Um, it's also Escort, like, because yeah. there is videos on the channel. So, but just that. So you guys must watch the channel, follow the channel, yeah, and please, you guys yes. can see the what's going to happen. There's some awesome content on there, so please make sure you go over to his channel. And yeah. I'm definitely going to feature the other cars, hopefully. Definitely, yeah. definitely, definitely. <laughs> Give um, some advice for, like, guys looking to maybe run, like, this setup, this um, VVL setup with the uh, N1 cams and so on. Or any build in general. Yeah. Yeah, basically, yes, like, 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 like I said, like, it's a bit, it's now, it's tough times, you know, especially with this COVID made it a bit tough for everyone, like, for everyone, no matter who you are, it is tough times. But if you really want something, work towards it and just go for it. Eh? Just, just bowl like, like you were saying. Also, just save or put it away or buy it piece by piece, and then 
and just yeah just go for it you if it's your passion then obviously you will you will get it it's that that's just how it works so, like my thing i'm a strong believer if it's your passion bro then you must do it they don't don't go and make yourself sick <laughs> 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 like yeah if it makes you happy if it makes you happy then you, you need to then you need to go for it at just least invest, try right? yeah just invest and try to do it at least you know you tried don't sit there and wonder like it's i know it's difficult but yeah, <laughs> push through. <laughs> yeah, just push through, just push through, bro. just push through. So there you guys have it. Um, yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. What I can say about that car, that car is very strong. <laughs> and yeah, I'm really excited to see what times that car makes on the drag, but also like Ilani as well. Seeing that it is a 50 50 if and pump to mix. So yeah, no, no, I wasn't very comfortable um, pulling it too hard, and that's also why I didn't want to drive it. Um, because he explained that the car isn't where he wants it to be at the moment, so there is still a few things to do on the car. And yeah, but yeah, I'm excited to see what the car does on the track, and also on the drag. We're gonna do a follow up on the car, and I really hope you guys subscribe to this channel as well. Um, like you said, he has a few balls that he's busy with at the moment, so I'm quite excited because I'm going to be doing that cause hopefully in the future. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed the content, so thank you. See you guys in the next one.